Hi, my name is Eric Talibstrud, and I'm from Insider Software. I'm going to show you how to quickly um, uninstall Fonage Pro Server uh, with keeping the database uh, of, of users and fonts intact, and then just reinstalling Fonage Pro Server after it's been uninstalled. And typically, you'd want to do this if Fonage Pro Server is sort of acting up, and you wanted to, um, you know, reinstall the, the server software but keep all of the the database of files and uh, and uh, fonts that uh, people have already uploaded intact. So as you can see right now I have Funage Pro Server up and running. Um, again we're assuming that we're having some sort of problems with Funage Pro Server that it won't start up or, or whatever um, and, and we just suspect that we have bad server um, code. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the Funage Pro um, Server in, uh, Installer DMG. And I am using Funage Pro 4 right now, uh, Server Funage Pro Server 4 right now, but uh, this applies to any version of the Funage Pro Server. It's uh, almost identical um, uh, steps to take care of it. So um, I've mounted the, the Funage Pro Server 4. Um, disk image and uh, we first want to find the uninstaller and that is in the manual and resources folder and then the um, server tools and support not the Fonage Pro tools and support but the server tools and support and inside there there's another disk image for the Fonage Pro uninstaller alright so with that mounted we're gonna launch the application and uh, this uninstaller is actually um, pretty um, robust, I guess you could say. Um, the first three uh, deal with the Fonage Pro server software, and the second three in, uh, deal with the actual Fonage Pro client, if you had one installed, um, uh, which you don't need to do at, at this step or, or, or to uninstall the Fonage Pro server. So we're just going to ignore those. And um, we're also going to ignore the last checkbox down here. So looking at the first three, we want to just uninstall the software, not the database. And so um, that would definitely be the, the first option. All, fun, uh, all application files for Funage Pro Server, the server and the server module. So yes, we want that. Let's see, delete the Funage Pro Server preferences. Well, see, the thing about preference files is that uh, they do get read when you open up an application. So in this instance, Funage Pro Server does look at the preference files. If the preference files are corrupted, then you won't have a happy application. So you might want to uninstall those as well. The server preference preferences um, deal with, uh, well, let's go back here, deal with, um, you know, if you want the server to, uh, to, to start up when the computer restarts, you know, by default, it's unchecked. If you had that checked and we uninstall Funage Pro server preferences, um, then that will go back to the default. Again, just everything will go back to default. So um, just keep in mind if you do remove this preference file, you will need to go reset up your server to the way you like it. Now, luckily, Funage Pro Server doesn't have a ton of options, so it should be pretty easy. Um, this is the one you want to leave unchecked because we want to keep the server fonts and the database files intact and on, uh, you know, still on your computer so that once we reinstall Funage Pro Server, it's still there. So we're going to leave those two unchecked, or I'm sorry, that one unchecked. Just check the first two and click in uninstall. Uh, it's going to warn us what we're going to be doing. And yes, that is what we want. Password. And we're just going to let it finish. And uh, looks like it was finished. So we can quit that, close this. Close that and that, and uh, just confirm that it is uninstalled. Yes, indeed, it's uninstalled. So what we do now is just turn around again and install Finder Pro. There we go. Let's go confirm that it's installed. There we go. We are back up and running. Now, obviously, if, uh, if Finage Pro server is still not responding, then you, then obviously you have bigger issues, but this has just been a quick tutorial on how to uninstall Finage Pro server and reinstall it by keeping 
um, all of the, the the user files and the and the fonts. So there we go. Thanks. Bye.